have a lot of arguments, but they never really think of anything new that the church hasn't had answers to for the past 2,000 years. So let's answer them. Religion causes wars. Well, actually, only 7% of all human wars were caused by religion, and if you remove Islamic wars, that number drops down to 3%. A lot of evil has been done in the name of religion. This is true, but the most- Are they retarded? 98% of wars, I would say, minimum, are caused by pe religious people. Right? Tell me an atheist who started a war. Tell me an atheist who started a war. Most murderous Hitler? Definitely not. Definitely a uh, Protestant. Definitely. People in human history have been atheists. This doesn't mean religion is true, it just means you can't use Source? That yeah. 19 fucking 40 Germany. That's my source. As an argument against it. If you were born somewhere else, you wouldn't be a Christian. Okay, and if you were born somewhere else, you wouldn't be an atheist. Everyone's beliefs are shaped by their context. How do you know which religion is true? Well, everyone, religious or not, has faith in a certain worldview. It's just that some worldviews are called religions and some are secular. But everyone has to ask the question of which worldview best explains the world. There is no scientific proof that God exists. Well, by definition, science can only prove things inside the natural world. And by definition, God is something outside the natural world. So science can neither prove nor disprove God. There is no evidence of anything supernatural. Well, that's just not accurate. There are medically documented cases of people with demonic possessions speaking in languages they don't know, for example, and people with near-death experiences getting information they never had access to. The Bible has contradictions. <laughs> Good okay, answers, You think you church. found an apparent contradiction that the church hasn't known about for 2,000 years? Every apparent contradiction can be explained by understanding just a little bit of theology. The Gospels were anonymous. Okay, anonymous doesn't mean we have no the last idea about them. It just means the names of the authors aren't signed in the text itself. But we literally have writings from church fathers oh, who the, the apostles and can verify that they indeed wrote the books named after them. Mm. The Gospels misquote Jesus. Now, it's true that a lot of secular scholars think the Gospels are a mix of real quotes from the historical Jesus and fake quotes added by the church, but none of them can agree on which quotes are legit and which are not, so we can discard their opinions. Jesus never claimed to be God. Yes, he did. He didn't say, I am God, worship me, but he showed that he was God in many places in all four Gospels by doing things that only God can do. It's true that he didn't walk around before his resurrection claiming to be God because he wanted people to figure it out themselves. That's why he kept saying, who do you say that I am? However, after his resurrection, people figured out that he was God and Jesus congratulated them. The later one of the Gospels was written, Answering the more divine it to Jesus seems, so we can extract Answering atheist arguments with their Bible. <laughs> They're so dumb. They're so fucking dumb, man. Extrapolate that Jesus was originally a oh human God. figure who got made more divine over time. Alright, maybe some Gospels emphasize Jesus' divinity more than others, but what about Paul's letters that fully confess the divinity of Jesus and were also written before any of the Gospels? So that breaks your pattern. The Bible supports slavery. No, it doesn't. Just because there's slavery in the Bible doesn't mean the Bible supports it. There are some Old Testament verses that could be interpreted as condoning slavery, but Jesus himself said that the Old Testament made accommodations to people's sinful state. And also, slave owners in the American South had slave Bibles for their slaves to read, but it omitted a lot of the real Bible, so if the Bible actually did support slavery, this wouldn't have been necessary. Christianity supported slavery. Well, sure, some Christians did, but all human civilizations have had slavery. Christian civilization was the first one to abolish it on moral grounds. The fact that you're against slavery is due to Christian influence. Also, most organizations fighting modern-day slavery are Christian. God killed tons of people in the Bible. Well, it's actually way more than that. God numbers everyone's days. He's the giver of life so he can take it, especially if people sin. All right. I got this. Love, love, love.